Hey everybody, welcome to Rider Skills. I'm Neil. This is the channel for motorbike safety advice and riding tips. Haha! <laughs> Always exciting when you get a gadget as a bloke. Bit of a gadget, man. Let's see what we've got, shall we? TPMS Tire Pressure Monitoring System. Little instruction manual, which is nice. So look at this. So this is how it's going to get mounted on to the handlebar. And that looks like it's got a fair span of range there. And I presume, it, yes, it's on a hinge. It's quite a nice little bracket. Now, so that has to come all the way off. I thought it might have had a slot there. However, for safety it doesn't, but sometimes they've got a slot there and you can just hinge that out. It looks like it's got to come all the way out. So let's do that. I'll show you how it looks. I'll take this knobble off. Da, 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 da. Okay, it's there eventually. Is that long enough? It could be long enough for that. It's not spinning. There we go. So what we'll do is that. So that'll be how it mounts around the handlebars. Clamp, bang. So that's, that's your handlebar. I'm not going to fasten it all the way back on. Because I'm going to stick it on my bike in a bit. Probably film that as well. I might as well do the fitting. And then we'll test it. So that's that. That is the mount. And well, that's cool. So that's on a ball. So that'll slacken and tighten it. So you can adjust the angle of the, the monitoring system. And that'll tighten up. So that's your mount, and that'll tie up against it, I presume. Rechargeable, so that's your standard USB, that end, and nice, cool little recharging plug. So that's there, and there. Here, we have tools, I believe. Should we do it properly, instead of just riving at it? Well, scissors it for the internet. I have got here... Three nuts for the locking out, so I presume we'll find out what they're for shortly. And a little spanner, I'm sure I had a 12mm. But there you go. Now these look like the... Yeah, look at these. These are the um, the new dust caps. Now these will be with built-in transmitters that basically measure the pressure inside your tyres. As you can see. I'll give it a chance to focus. So they're quite a decent sized um, dust cap. So there's two of them, nicely packaged, and here is the article itself. This is what I've been interested in, and I wanted to know what it looked like size-wise, and this is going to be mounted on my handlebars, but of course, the good thing about this, like you see, you can just whip it off again, take it with you, stick it in your pocket and recharge it, and then you can keep an eye on your tyre pressures, and this will inform me exactly how I'm going with my tyre pressures. I'm not sure if it's got any power in it at the moment. Let's see if there's any of these buttons to fire it up. Not that one. Not that one. Hmm, maybe that one. No, I will find it. Maybe it's not charged yet. There's my uh, charging point. So I probably need some charge. I suspect that there'll be no on switch. It'll be just charged when it's charged. So we'll charge it up. Let's put it back in there for a minute. And we'll come back to this shortly when we've got it charged up. Oh, let's find out what that is first. I don't know yet. Let's see. I should really read the instructions, but it shouldn't be that complicated because there's not that much there. If that goes on there, like that, I'll work that out shortly. Oh! I've sussed it. I've got a sneaky feeling that that is for tightening it up. How tight do you have to have them? I'm not so sure. It's a spanner for nipping that up. 
for your dust caps. Good grief. Hmm. Okay. Well, we, we shall find out just how tight they have to be. Okay. Carry on. Okay. I'm here at Bob Jane T Mart at Alberton. A gentleman by the name of Marcus runs it. And I'll tell you why I've come here. I have my ute shod here with the tyres every so often. And uh, they do a good job. Now I bought this tyre pressure monitoring system as you can see. And as you know, now I've been using for my tyre pressures one of these. That's from TJM. And that has increments of PSI, bar, whatever you want. You reset it by pressing that, attach it to your valve, and it will give you your pressures. Now that's been giving me lower pressures than what that's telling me. So one of them's inaccurate. Going to service stations, as in petrol stations, as we call them in the UK, and the servos here in Australia, I don't think that they're legally be legal, I put my teeth in, legally obliged to have their tyre pressure gauges calibrated as often as somewhere like Bob J and T Marts. So I'm hoping that these guys will do me a favour and allow me to check the accuracy of this. Because that's showing 39 front, 44 e rear, and temperatures around about 17 degrees, it's 16 and 18, 17 degrees on the tyres. 16 from 18 rear. I've only done four k's, um, so there's no real heat in the tyres. So let's see how we go on. Let's see if this uh, tyres are of a decent. So the tyre pressure monitoring system is more accurate than that. We'll go. Thank you. See you, buddy. Cheers. Well, how very interesting. So the TJM one, 6 to 7 PSI high. It's reading high. Sorry, reading low. It was telling me I had 32 at the front when it was in fact 39. 7 PSI difference. Firming up the fact that this one here, now reading 33, 36, should be 32, 35, but I can live with one PSI high, is absolutely accurate. So that is an absolute delight. So what I've done, let's cancel my indicator. So what I've done there is confirm the accuracy. I've used a calibrated system at Bob J and T Marts which gives me a great deal of confidence with this thing. Now, going back to it, before I end this little review, the unboxing and showing you through the tools, there was a, like, two, like a disc which fit the dust cap, what that is, and the sensor, and the transmitter, basically. What that does is split the transmitter down. It's a little tool for doing that so you can replace the actual batteries in the dust cap transmitters, which is great. It's not for tightening it up on your valves, which <laughs> I initially thought might have been a bit overkill. So that covers that. We've covered the accuracy. It is accurate, which is fantastic. Stay there, little silver Audi. Thank you. It comes with a high pressure alarm and a low pressure alarm. So when I was installing it, of course, the Transmitters weren't installed and the alarms went off. The audio stopped, the bleeping stopped when I installed the transmitters. You can adjust the high and low pressure range to your liking, however, I haven't done. And I don't really need the alarm because I will be having a constant eye on these as I'm riding along. There is no off switch. It's a sleeping system in fact in the fact that it will go to sleep when you pack up or put it in your pocket 
it comes alive when your wheels rotate. It takes a few minutes to go to sleep, it's still awake now because it still obviously gives you a bit of a time to get through traffic lights and the lights. But if you sat for any length of time, it will go to sleep. So on its charge, it should last quite a while. Maybe weeks, maybe months, I don't know. Suffice to say, I'm quite impressed with it. It's, in fact, a decent piece of kit. I've paid $72, including postage from Australian Direct. They also do a four pack for your four by fours, or any car, to be honest. And now I'm happy that I've bought that one for that, for the bike, at $72. I will also start saving some hard-earned cash up and getting, I think they're about twice as much money, maybe $130, for one for the Ute, for the Hilux, because it'd be great if I could get hold of one. For that as well, because as I said, I'm a bit of a stickler for my tyre pressures, more so on my motorbike, I have to be honest. But um, it'd be nice to be able to keep an eye on the pressures on my on my ute without obviously having to take it into Bob Jane T Mart every time I want my tyre pressures checking properly. That is great news. What a fantastic piece of kit that is. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. If you want some of these, I suggest you go to if you're in Australia, hit up AustralianDirect.com.au, the four x four specialist, and get yourself a set of transmitters in one of them little boxes and get it on display and keep an eye on your tyre pressures oh and if you like please do put a thumbs up and if you don't like give it a thumbs down I'm thick skinned I've said that before and uh, consider subscribing it's not the end of the world if you don't I just want the views because I want people to get the message that there's a lot more to this motorcycle than just jumping on and get into work or get into your destination. You've got to enjoy it, you've got to love it. And you've got to be safe. And you've got to do a better job of turn, turn, turning left than that. You've got to keep learning. Happy days.